Hi Aquarius, this is Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you and see what we have today. I've pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times. And this is for Sun, Moon, and Rising as well as the Feminines, Mars, and the Masculines, Venus. And this is good for, definitely for this week, um, but for some it can be good for the whole month. And if you should come to it another time, there's a definitely a reason why you've been led to this video. So Aquarius, where are we here? For everyone watching and the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know? What do we need to learn? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities and fill with beautiful divine love and diamond, crystalline light, and so on. Thank you. <sighs> Take a deep breath. And here we go. This is for Aquarius. Aquarius. Thunder 19, 2019, Aquarius. <sighs> All right, so first card out, Aquarius, you have the hangman awake. The challenge is the five of cups reversed. The foundation, the ace of cups reversed. What's happening in the recent past is justice. Just light up a little bit. Crowning is the world. What's coming is the Four of Pentacles reversed, which is good. You see yourself as the Eight of Swords, so you feel imprisoned right now. Around you, or how others might see you, is the Five of Pentacles. What blocks you need to clear or parts of yourself you need to work on have to do with the Nine of Swords. And then we end up with the Page of Swords. Take all that away. And I do a little bit of a hangman configuration at the end here. So this, this is the connection to whatever's going to be left hanging in limbo at the end. So this is the connection, the Ten of Wands. And then what's hanging in limbo at the end of your read is the death card reversed. I do pull another card, but I don't show you that till the end. Sometimes more than one. And then uh, the bottom of the deck is the five of wands reversed. So this is the underlying energy, and I am going to pull a few uh, cards from the bottom to give you a backstory on what's been going on. So the underlying energy is here. We have the Knight of Pentacles here reversed, the Sun reversed, and then we have the, the next is the King of Cups, the Three of Swords reversed, and then the Five of Wands reversed. So there's definitely some stuck energy there. This can be stubbornness, it can be not working, refusal to work or move, or move ahead, or just feeling stuck or disabled. Somebody might have an illness or physical illness as well here, or just sick and not working. And then the King of, of Cups is upright, so it's very positive energy, very loving and kind and nurturing, very in control of their emotions, um, in healing and forgiving a situation, and no, no longer fighting anymore, or this could just be after the fight. So there definitely was some, some issues, maybe battling an illness, and now healing. But there's definitely a broken heart energy here as well. There could have been some minor surgery instead of that, and you're healing from that. So it could be definitely some illness because there's definitely a lot of physical stuckness here with the sun reversed. Um, there could be some overexposure to something, just feeling drained in general, or just have a cold, you know, and you're, you're home from work. But the King of Cups is very positive energy, very loving and nurturing, um, and, and most importantly, it's healing. So no longer battling to get well, no more battling to heal, or no more fighting, and you're actually healing from the situation, whatever it is. So whatever it is, if you're just sick physically and you're purging, or if something literally made you feel sick because you're so drained in the situation. 
So then we have the the uh, justice card in the recent past. All right. So there's some kind of legal energies, or it can just it can be a Libra person as well that you're no longer fighting with Aquarius. And then here's the foundation energy of the the um, Ace of Cups reversed. So someone may have been dumped or just overwhelmed emotionally. This could be crying as well, like having a big cry after a fight. So it could be Aquarius and Libra energies. We have Leo here as well. And there's the King of Cups, who can be a water sign. He can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but he doesn't have to be. He can just be somebody who's, who has those qualities about them because those signs may be in his chart. But someone here is very stubborn. That could be Taurus energy with the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And then the central energy is someone someone who's, a, who's like found a way to get out of here. This is someone running out the door towards like escaping the box, right? Getting out of these chains, found a way out, and they're going towards justice. The challenge here is the Five of Cups reversed. And that has to do with getting over any, it could be heavy grief, from someone's passing or a breakup in a relationship, um, but you're getting over that. It could be loss, regret. It can be guilt and shame as well, or just getting over feeling sorry for yourself, right? Letting go of that third baton in order to not be at the Y in the road, to finish the race or start something over again. But don't stay at the Y in the road because that keeps you stuck. So that's been the challenge, but now the challenge is getting over all of it. In the crowning position is the world, which is a closure of a cycle. It's also opening your heart to the world, maybe going traveling, right? Someone wants to get out of here and get justice and maybe they want to travel. Could be just closing a cycle in their life, going back home. Can be um, that this world card in this deck also reminds me of the Olympic Games. So somebody might be really into the Olympics, whether it's the Winter Olympics or Summer Olympics. It looks like someone's trying to get out to get to that justice of going to the Olympics. So whether you're the actual athlete and you've been sick or injured, or if you're someone who just really always wanted to go. And this may be somebody There's definitely some kind of lo loss of love here, whether it's between two of these people here. And we could, for me, this is Capricorn. It could be Pisces as well. Um, and then we have Pisces again up here. So we have Pisces, Libra, Leo, and Aquarius here. So we have Pisces as a water sign. That's the only water sign that's come up so far. So that could relate to the King of Cups over here. So he could have Pisces and Leo in his chart. Then we have, um, this is someone who was holding on to their money, their stuff, whatever it was, and now is willing to let go of some. Even if they don't have a lot, they're willing to let go to improve their life. They're feeling like a prisoner in this situation, a prisoner of love, or someone who's been dumped or overwhelmed or pushed to their emotional limits, having to fight for everything and no longer willing to do that. This is around you, Aquarius, which is the five of pentacles, having to, having to do with what's around you or how other people might see you. And this has to do with abandonment wounds and being left out in the cold, put in exile of a, an establishment, a family, a religion, but putting a group putting you outside of it, not letting you back in. And this could have to do with financial destitution as well. Someone feeling very imprisoned by it. The blocks you need to clear have to do with chronic suffering and silence, okay? This is leave, you're, it's like you leaving yourself out in the cold. This is about victim mentality and to um, empower yourself again. Don't allow yourself to be the victim. You can only be the victim if you allow someone to do that to you. Even if it's you know, violent crime, you can still choose whether or not to stay the victim or choose to take power back in your life. So that's the point. It's not that the other person's right. In being happy, it has to do with, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? That's always the choice. Do you want to spend your dime, time in negative energy trying to get justice or do you want to spend your life being happy instead and just letting it go, right? So that's that kind of victim mentality energy that is the, what you need to work on. 
and then here is the the and that's not pointing you out everyone has that then we have the page of swords up here which is immature communication or it can be a child as well it could be news and a message or or sending a message around the world But this is, remember, this is immature communication, so it very much can be about online communications, email, text, things like that. And then we have here someone carrying the weight of the world upon their shoulders, which is the connection to why you're left hanging in limbo here. This is um, because you're not allowing the change or the full transformation to happen. You're still carrying the burden instead of letting it go. So the next card I told you we're going to wait till we get through the cards there is the Knight of Wands reversed. And this has to do with falling short of expectations or energy. This could be somebody who's holding back their passions or it could literally be someone who's, who's been a player and, being, and been playing other people. So I pulled another card as well and we've then got the Four of Wands, which again is instability. Okay, and these are all instability because the change or the transformation wasn't allowed to happen. You're still carrying all this weight here. Of, it's, it's maybe related to messages around the world and carrying the weight of the world and then not allowing the change to happen. You may be clinging to this energy being you as the player or somebody else. Maybe you're feeling like somebody played you, but again, that's the victim mentality of allowing yourself to sit in it or doing something about it and becoming happy again. Not necessarily getting justice, but the justice is your happiness. This is instability, it could be a move, it could be an end of a marriage, it could be going to visit a friend's or a relative's house and staying, it's just staying at somebody else's house. That definitely comes up for me under those energies. After that, we have the Queen of Cups. So that could be who you're gonna go stay with. And here we have the partner to the King of Cups over here. So we definitely have the King and Queen of Cups. And then we also have the Six of Pentacles with her. So here there is balance in the relationship. So it looks like you're coming out of an imbalanced relationship and going into a balanced one. So, um, and this could be your new partner, whether you're um, feminine or masculine, doesn't really matter. This could be your new partner in the situation, uh, or this can be you, and this could be you or um, your partner or someone you're leaving behind. I don't see a, a third person, but we do have the Three of Swords over here. We went from the Three of Swords to the um, Nine of Swords over here. I'm definitely getting Olympic energy here, whether it's the Winter Olympics or summer. Definitely looks like win more like Winter Olympics. You know, there's like jumping and skiing and, and um, skating, all that kind of stuff. It looks like that's coming up. So it could be a child too who's, who's trying to get to the Olympics and was waiting for news about going to the Olympics and carrying that weight of the world upon their shoulders. Really, I mean, that's such a big deal. All right, so I'm gonna ask first why. I'm gonna do clarifications and then I'll pull you um, a numerology card and a Romance Angel cards at the end. So why do we have the, um, the King of Cups in the underlying energy there with the Three of Swords reversed and the Five of Wands reversed? Was someone sick or is this a breakup? Why is the King of Cups there? So we have the Queen of Wands reversed and a third party situation, so there's your three. This also could just be overindulgences and gossip and she could be um, sick or tired because she's reversed in that physical energy and we have illness here. So somebody could be sick um, and they could have alcohol issues as well. They could be overindulging, partying, going out with friends too much and that's why they're actually sick. So it's kind of self-induced illness. Um, or it could just, it could be gossip or any other kind of antisocial behavior, it, but it's not happy, right? There's no happiness here. Done. Someone's done fighting. Oops, sorry. Someone's done fighting for this relationship. So it looks like the feminine energy there is either the person who's um, upset or and tired and letting it go, or she may be the third person in the relationship because we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups and the Queen of Wands reversed. So 
So with that is also coming up, I wanna bring these two. We have the Empress reversed and the King of Wands reversed in association with her. So this looks like a different couple because we have the King and Queen of Wands reversed. So they may be the ones who are fighting, but the King and Queen of Cups are upright. These are not. And this could be a mother involved with the situation too, whether it's his mother or the Queen of Wands mother. But that's all coming up in the underlying energies. And that can just be lack mentality too, that victim mentality. Okay. So the King and the Queen of Wands, and that actually came up in my Divine Masculine read today. I think it was today that both the mask, the uh, Queen of Wands and the King of Wands were, re were reversed. If not today, it was yesterday. I think it was today. Um, and then we have the Leo energy of the Sun reversed there too. So people are drained or sick or they're tired of fighting because we have that fighting card there too. Someone could have had a minor procedure as well. All those things could come up, but neither one of them are happy and either is the Empress. And the Empress could be the third party too. It could be the King and Queen of Wands with the Empress third party. Or it could be um, the King and Queen of Cups with the Empress third party, but it looks more like the wands there. And then the King of Queen of Cups look more like uh, parental figures or friends. It could be a brother and their spouse, or it could even they could be siblings. The King and Queen of Cups could be siblings from one family, and the King and Queen of Wands could be siblings from another family, and then their mother. So why do we have the justice in the recent past? So somebody was imprisoned or went to prison so that the, so either somebody's imprisoned with anxiety because they want to offer love, they're on a quest here to get out of this prison, whether it's physical or just anxiety in their head, in order to break, they wanna offer love and they're on a quest to break all of their codependencies or addictions. And that could be Libra energy. We have Capricorn as well. And since the devil's reversed, that could be rising or moon for me. Okay. So they're on a quest to break addictions or codependencies, a codependent relationship. And there's um, related suffering and silence as well with the Libra energy. And coming up with the messenger of truth coming in. So you may be getting messages of truth. It could be a friend or a relative or somebody else. Or it could be the third party. Coming in with messages of truth, which are causing more suffering and silence. because But they're truth. Okay. So then we have the ace of cups in the, in the foundation there. And there's the queen of cups flipping up or flipping out. And there's the king of swords reversed beside her and choosing a new path. All right, so again, that could be Libra energy since that's the only the only air that came up so far, right? Yeah, we have Scorpio. We have, I mean, there's other characters here. We have the Page of Swords, but that doesn't have to be a person. It could be a message, but those that would be air signs. That can relate to um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And then we have Scorpio over there. We have the Queen and King of Cups, which are all of the water signs. So Pisces, uh, Scorpio, and Cancer. And then we have the fire signs. So the Aries, the Sagittarius, and Leo as well. And then of course the Leo here, the Libra there, um, Capricorn, Pisces, and yeah. So you got a lot of signs there. Definitely all those signs are there. But the uh, Capricorn, Reversed, yeah, the Capricorn's definitely reversed energy. So let's see, why do we have the the escape artist there? Uh, we have the Ace of Cups reversed with the Queen of Cups, but she's upright. So the one who's probably crying or purging is actually the King of Swords reversed, which equates to either Aquarius, man, or the Libra energy here. But the Libra energy is upright, so it could be an Aquarius male who's actually purging about this Queen of Cups. So let's see where this goes. Okay, and then there's news coming out right after that is, is news about ending a family or an emotional cycle, and this is attached to this. So somebody's purging out the ending of a family cycle, and somebody might be spreading the news about that. Why do we have the hangman upright, or not upright, but reversed and awakened or getting out of there? Someone's escaping in this card for sure. So someone's escaping from this house 
um, and dropping all their responsibilities or their burdens or maybe going to confess, maybe going to somebody else's house to confess. Or maybe going to court too, since we have the justice card there. Maybe someone needs to come to court to add their, their, their information on the situation. Something like that came up the other day too, about like um, there was a decision in court and then like, I think it was the King of Pentacles running in there and that does come up with Capricorn for me too. So that could be the King of Pentacles is running in there to add information that they don't have. And then the, the decision gets overturned. So there's some that could be re related to this. This is the challenge of getting over it and why. Why the Five of Cups? Why is that the challenge? Because there's been some kind of uh, risky behavior, lying, cheating, stealing, whatever it is, and getting over it because you can't get justice. All right, you chased after this person, but they just kept running. So somebody ran away from you or they stole, lied and cheated from you. And you may have tried to go after them, but you were leaving the sunshine behind. So it's now, it's now time to, to get over it, All right? Why would you wanna leave that happiness and your children behind to go chasing after someone who's running away from you, lying and cheating and stealing from you? And we have the world at the top, why? So the world is here. This is about keeping to yourself about lovers, about affection. And this could be definitely going to the Olympics as well. You know, that's your lover. If you had been training for the Olympics, that's definitely your lover here. And there's some kind of unhappiness or dissatisfaction around this relationship, whatever it is. So it could be Pisces, we got Gemini there, in addition to all the other signs that are here. Keeping things to yourself, knowing without knowing, or pretending not to know even though you do know in order to keep your own sanity about this lover's situation. The lover's is upright, so there's it doesn't have to be sex. It can just be affection because I don't have any um, wands right there. Uh, but someone's unhappy or dissatisfied or maybe arrogant about this love relationship or going to the Olympics. And there we have also the world reversed, was reversed. It's now upright. Um the cycle wasn't complete because you had all these options and you, you needed to probably get rid of all those options in order to turn it right side up because you knew which one you wanted. You had to go for it and not keep, you know, having your energy out in too many directions. So the four of pentacles, why is the four of pentacles reversed? Somebody is um, paying out or this could be sharing. It could be helping others, working, giving charity, charitably. It also could be paying out or settling out. Um, this has to do with um, a high priestess or someone who's intuitive or you have a secret. And now letting go of it, um, this also could be your psychic abilities. And now you're gonna share them. You may be incorporating those abilities into your work. You're letting go of a little bit of money, maybe you lost money in a breakup or or disbanded a business and so you don't have that much left but you're willing to put some money out now you're not you're not like being Scrooge anymore you're not trying to hold on to things so much you're allowing the universe to help you by by recycling that energy and having that that positive intention of giving settling out whatever it is just be rid of the pot the negative energy to go into this more positive energy here you see yourself as in prison which came up over there for Libra and or the justice system. And this is what's coming up for you, Aquarius. All right, that's grounding and integrating an offer of love, being bored, apathetic, and no longer wanting that love. You're dumping it. So it's like the fourth offer, maybe the same old thing. They keep promising to change, or this is a new love that you kept being offered to you and you keep dumping it out. Um, it's imprisoning you. And here's that Ace of Cups, all right? So that's Aquarius whether it's the King of Swords, Aquarius. Do we have the Queen? We have a Knight of Swords over there connected to the Libra. And then we have the Page of Swords and the King of Swords both connected to you. But you're, this is reversed energy and so is this. And here's in Prism, which is like reversed energy. But here is dumping this, this, 
like pushed your emotional limits, overwhelmed, crying, no longer wanting to do this, feeling imprisoned. And here's the truth coming out of it. And there's now, oh, we got two Aquarius cards coming up back to back. All right, so the truth comes out. There's an announcement. Um, this could be a final judgment, a call to action, and then there's depression here for Aquarius or loss of hope because of the truth coming out. And what's around you is the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. All right, and there's the injustice of it. All right, and not walking away, right? Feel it, sitting in very uncomfortable emotions is the injustice of it. And this is what I'm saying. You can either fight the injustice and be in this kind of energy, or you can choose to be happy. So that's where you need to get out of this victim mentality because this card's all about that. Okay? So, and here's coming, uh, this is also coming out right there. So this could have been leaving a work situation, right? There's a breakup here. So it could be work or romantic. This doesn't have to be romantic and just be a partnership. Um, but there's some kind of breakup and it could have to do with work, but it could be work and a personal breakup as well. Okay, so the blocks that you need to work on have to do with suffering and silence. And it may be related to the King of Pentacles. And the past or him living in the past right like he's very old school very conservative living in the past looking back going back all that kind of stuff keep or you keep going back to him because he's got a lot of money and these are coming up too so this is about not being able to sleep or just rising above that you rested enough now it's time to come out and there's an offer of, of new passion could be sex or just a creative project it's about you getting out of the victim mentality and rising up to catch to catch what's being offered to you. All right, to catch what's being offered to you. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. We're gonna pull that back a little bit. Okay. So the end here, we got the page of swords. So there's news. So here is the Queen of Swords with the King of Cups, who's there at the beginning of the read. She might be talking about him or to him or at him. It looks like he's not paying attention to her. But this is the news. She's giving the news to the King of Cups via the, the Page of Swords, which could just be, like I said, electronic message or some kind of small message or communication. And then why is this a burden? Um, this is a burden because it's a message of love from possibly a wealthy or powerful family or business offer. Okay, and that's why it's a burden to you. So maybe your partner is the King of Cups and somebody's sending a message um, that's offering him something, either a job or another romantic relationship because there's a third party there. And this um, this energy of wealth or abundance, whether it's family or business, um, is reaping rewards with the wounded warrior energy, which is, again, that victim mentality. All right. And that wealthy family could even be your family detached from you. Like if you broke up with someone, like your family is still offering love to your ex. That could be there too. And then we have this, so what are you clinging to? Why, what are you not letting go of? This is the war. So there's some PTSD. Like when the war's over, you know, if it's been going on for a long time, it doesn't feel like it's over yet, even though it's over. That's the PTSD. Like it's the rebound from the war. And here's someone not expressing their feelings about that post-war energy. You're not letting it go. You're still trying to fight the injustice of it. And then here's where, this is where you're starting to get over. You're recovering from that abandonment and victim mentality to become sovereign, come, get your power back again. That's exactly what I said in the beginning. This is about letting go, dropping the facade, allowing yourself to trip up if needed, breaking your patterns, being sovereign, it's okay. This is about breaking patterns. Okay, and then why the um, why is the Four of Wands reversed with the Queen of Cups at the end here? 
Okay, so there's some weakness or ego death. And here is that again, clinging and not allowing the change to happen. All right, maybe not being able to control yourself. Somebody is um, hanging out to try to see a new perspective, trying to find balance in their life again. And this could be a negative past, so you may be processing through some childhood wounding. This could be a, a bad childhood with parents, or it could just be the past coming back to haunt you, or it can be literally the past returning to you now. Or it can be children who are difficult with you and finding a way to succeed and lead, and lead others forward. And now inspired. Inspired in a bold move forward. So this is where you regain your sovereignty, okay? By allowing the stillness and to face the wounds in order to then found, find your power and become inspired again and make a bold move to go where you wanna go to find the work that you enjoy doing. And then just to show you the next cards coming are very good. Finding the work that you love for a higher love and finding patience with the Queen of Pentacles, whether that's you or somebody else. Okay, and then the bottom of the deck ends up with the Magician Reverse, which has to do with insecurities and manipulation. So let go of that. Let go of the deception and the King and the Emperor reversed, all right? There's some negative energy here that you wanna let go of. You are holding on to this. So that's what you've now let go of. So you're already halfway there. So very good, Aquarius. I'm gonna get your other cards out here before it gets too long. Romance Angels and the Numerology deck. Yours is already, I'm trying to stay under 30 minutes, but yours is already going on 32 minutes. All right, Romance Angels. Romance Angels. All right, you give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, and then you have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it's saying, allow the change to happen. That's all that's saying. And then let your friends help you. Ask for and accept help or support from others. The bottom of the deck is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So that's right in line with what the message was coming, the message that was um, coming forward from the read. So one more card from the numerology deck. All right, for Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. All right. Karmic completion, so it's done. Completing the cycle. And self-love comes with that, 61, which is taking that risk. That liar, cheater, thief card is about taking the risk to love yourself first by letting the cycle to finish. Don't cling to the past or a past partner or family, whatever it is. Know your worth, your power, and go forward in it. The bottom or underlying energy is spirituality of 77. There's the sovereign again. 77 is the nine of pentacles. And I don't... I'm going to pull from the Kipper deck too because I did the other signs. I don't want to leave you out of that even though it's going long. All right, from the Kipper deck, what do we have for Aquarius? Aquarius. Aquarius. All right, this is the card that's coming out, high honor. So this is like treat yourself with high honor. There's a wealthy man coming for you but just make sure there's no masks on, okay? Make sure you value yourself. Don't assume at face value that you want this person who's got a lot of money, so there has to be someone, you know, who's gonna treat you right. And then the bottom of the deck there is the lovers. All right, so you have good news coming. There you go, Aquarius, but you have to let go of your situation. Okay, rise and be loved, guys. Bye.